At the Big M, Trotters get the late double underway. Super Lust finished well in the queue. Arnie's best one is qualifier. Blue Creek Chip was under a hold in his morning trial. Randy T. And from the inside, it's Arnie's best to the front. Arnie's best in Speedy Diamante. And from the inside, Super Lust is showing early speed as they round the first turn. And it's Menzi who wrestles control with Arnie's best. Speedy Diamante on the move for Pierce. Super Lust settles in third. Blue Creek Chip got away fourth. Gap of some seven lengths back to Hammer Toes, followed by Wolf's Paul. Off stride the four, Royal Crusader, far back Giant Victoria, and far, far back to Randy T. And Son of Song, 28 and three for the first quarter. They trot the back stretch, and it's Speedy Diamante leading it here. Anxious second, Arnie's best, and Manzi's gonna put that one back up front. Super Lust is now trotting third. Blue Creek Chip is fourth by about three lengths. And uh, cutting into that margin, Hammer Toes is fifth now. Wolf's Paul is sixth. And then it's far back to Giant Victoria, Royal Crusader, Son of Song, and Randy T. The half was 59 and three as Arnie's best took over. And now gets pressure from Blue Creek Chip on the outside. Those two now matching strides. Super Lust getting into it now third and looming large as they approach three quarters. Speedy Diamante is on the inside fourth. Wolves Paul within striking distance fifth now. Hammer Toes is sixth. They trot past three quarters. Mike Lachance and Blue Creek Chip is taking over in 130 and three. Turning for home, Blue Creek Chip now begins to draw away. Arnie's best is second best so far. Wolf's Paul begins to rally boldly now down the center of the racetrack as Howard Parker rouses that one. It's Blue Creek Chip by about four or five lengths and is home free now. Blue Creek Chip, the nine to five favorite, takes the ninth. Wolf's Paul was second and Speedy Diamante third. Well, he's not quite impeccable image, but he did make over half his career money as a six-year-old, and he does race with Stutzman and isn't driven by the chance, and when he does stay flat, he's tough. Peter Pan Stables owns the seven-year-old gelding by final score.